chairman and members of the committee, thank you for having me. Um, hello, my name is Jenna Alakris. I'm a third year law student at the Ohio State University of Morris College of Law. I'm a lifelong Columbus resident and this bill concerns me. It concerns me because this is an instance of a state taking action that is so clearly not for the benefit of its constituents. This bill would be to put the, alleg uh, the allegiances towards a foreign nation ahead of the allegiances to your fellow statesmen. The state of Ohio is limited in its constitutional ability to influence foreign affairs. This bill and its proponents ignore that distinction and attempt to make efforts to not only bypass its limitations, but to limit its citizens. Divestment and calls to it are protected by our First Amendment right of free speech. You do not have to agree with these methods in order to protect those who choose to exercise them. By limiting companies' abilities to choose who and what to support, this bill effectively limits the speech of the entity its employees, investors, and anyone affiliated. This is a gross imposition, and this has no apparent benefit. Divestment isn't scary. What is scary is complacency, silence. Nothing of benefit was ever accomplished by defending the status quo, and it's time that we recognize the, the humanity in others. It did not limit those working to restore it. I urge you to consider the ramifications of this proposed bill because there is nothing more concerning than a state using its relative power and its compromised interests to limit the power of a peaceful people in the means they implement. This bill affects me as a law student, as a Muslim, as a Palestinian, and as a citizen of the great state of Ohio. And particularly as a Palestinian, I reject the idea that BDS hurts Palestinians because as a Palestinian, you do not tell an occupied people how to resist their occupiers. That reeks of a savior complex. And as a, and 